All right, what do we got drifting around out here? Sure, we'll grab that. Of course, I immediately start heading right back out to the outer edge. 2300. Ah, that's going to be expensive burn. It's like I have to do a complete 180. Nope, 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 ah, nope. <laughs> Uh, no, nah, let's leave that one. Oops. Lots of platinum. Morally, it can't tell if that's 15 or 19,000. 21. Must have been probably 19. All right, here we go. Uh oh. V. So many micro changes it makes. Whoa. Oh, whoa, I over, over rotated. <laughs> I got the spin going a little too hard. Pilot didn't like it. What the hell? Did that pop out of the ship? And if yes, how did it manage that? We have baffles to prevent that. Rocks full of nothing, or asteroids full of nothing. Guess it's a platinum kind of trip. I think we're heading right back out to the front edge of the belt again. Uh-oh. Damn it. <laughs> I think it didn't go past the baffle. I think that's what's happening, is I'm not letting it actually pass the baffle. All right, we're not going to chase that one back down again. We will pivot to shoot you two, though. Oh, that's the good stuff there, I think. All right, keep an eye on that. I lost track of it. 
Oh, it's way over there. I want it. Yeah, went off the edge of my screen. <laughs> it's gonna be expensive. Oh, we almost clipped it. Oh, we did clip it. No. <laughs> I'm going to destroy my ship trying to get to this thing. <laughs> it's too far. <laughs> I lost track of it again. I wants it. 23 hour transit time now. No, don't go into the... Ah. I am not going to get this thing without slamming into something. Oh boy. Hey, hey, hey. Oh crap. I guess that's one way to mine. I'm never going to catch this thing. Screw this. <laughs> hey, no, stop it. Target nothing. Bring me to a halt. We're already at 24 hour transit. All right. Terrible trip. <laughs> Chasing that one stupid rock and it's still going. That's hilarious though. All right. Uh, let's head back. Red targets and Doppler are moving towards you. Blue away from you. Got it. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, not terrible. We got 35 grand that time. Go ahead and sell it all. Let's go look at the equipment. Uh, repairs. How are we doing? I'm surprised it seemed we hit that one rock, I thought, pretty hard, but everything's looking pretty decent still. A couple of thrusters, a little low. I'm not sure what else I should be looking for, for equipment, like cargo bay, Rusatom, Antonov, and MPU. That's the uh, thing that uh, MP versus MSU I got me. Material processing unit, I think, and I don't know what that one is. Um, so yeah, I don't know what I should be looking for. Like autopilots. I mean, there are other autopilots. Autopilot dummy plug. Got me. We've got the MLF. 27 grand, 6 grand, but I don't have any idea what they would do. Oof, a lot of info. What would go into these empty hard points? External impact absorbers, another mass driver, rail guns, beacons, microwave emitters, THI cargo containers, mining companion. Mining buddy?
Yeah, I might have to look at that. Mining lasers, microwave generators, pulse mining lasers, tug drones, the Gungnir. Small proton collider. Hauling drones. All right. Yeah, let's hire more crew. I think we got enough money. Who next? Let's get a mechanic. Self-taught, no experience. There's an El Cheapo. Or self-taught journeyman. Wish I could hit a filter to show like certain types. I just want to look at geologists. Show me only geologists. A simple filter would be nice. A lot of self-taughts, not uh, too many higher level ones. Let's go with the uh, Bianca. We'll go with the self-taught journeyman. So we're left with what? Pilot and Astrogator? Yeah, we'll hold off on those two. How's the mineral market looking? Not that we own anything, but... 20,300, huh? Nah, I'm pretty sure it's still good to go. We have yet to see another ship out there. I don't know if that's, if we're still in, with being right on the outer rim, if we're still in like newbie area and you have to go deeper in to find other ships and stuff. I'd like to build up a cash fund bank in case we have, you know, accidents. Uh, I'm assuming you can just buy low, store it, and sell high. You just follow the trends. If you got money to spare, you can turn it into minerals that you know or hit the bottom of the market, buy them low, and hold on to them for a while, and then sell them later. The only thing I can think of for why you can do that. All right, let's uh, head deeper in first. I want to get... I don't think we got more than like two kilometers, maybe, at the most. So let's... Um, Let's, let's get some thrust going. We'll head in a little further before we start mining. Do I have unlimited storage? Oh, you mean on the station? I think you do on the station. The station's massive. They probably just, you know, <laughs> have uh, net containers hanging outside the station where they stockpile the rocks. So, we're coming up on two kilometers. We'll go a little further. Let's go like three. Just continue a slow drift, expending as little propellant as we can. Well, you can buy as much as you got cash for. We just drag the slider over. I don't know if there's a limit to how much is available. Well, there has to be a limit. I don't know. I don't know how they do that.
All right, three kilometers. Let's get to this range. We'll start mining right over here. So let's say I want to go that direction. Take me that way, please. All right, full stop. Okay, here we are. Get the beak open. And uh, I guess we'll start with you. Whoa. Ah, it's the good stuff. <laughs> no way am I catching that. There it goes again. Oh, man. Why you got to get the high velocity stuff? That little nugget there is worth four grand all by itself with the beryllium. <laughs> and a little what we just caught. Pretty much yoinked it right into the cargo hold as soon as I smashed the uh, the rock. Eh, let's go after this one, I guess. It's worth more. Starting that weird counter rotation where I can't quite come around to it. All right, how are we looking? There's beryllium again. Chase it down. 13 grand for that amount of beryllium. Come on. All right, how deep in are we now? 5.6. Ouch. Still only a 12 hour transit time because we're still pretty light. 15,000 in value estimated in the cargo hold. I'm chasing too many of the little rocks. I need uh, big rock beryllium. Helps when it comes flying straight at me. What do we got? All sorts of stuff lit up, but I can't see it now. Weird. Yeah, what the hell? Are they moving at such a speed that I just can't even see them locally after I shoot these things?
Beryllium, I think. Looks bluish. Not good. Another beryllium. 336 kilogram. Seven grand. Go get it. Uh-oh. Chunk. Uh, I don't like the vector of that one. Whoa. Did we just impart additional velocity to that when we shot it? Too many things going too many different directions, damn it. At too high a velocity. <laughs> going two different directions. Stop that. Damn it, I think I think that one flew out of the hole again. I want the beryllium back. We're at three three kilometers depth. I think we were at five earlier when we were chasing that initial beryllium. Now it's a little late. Let's not go after that one. Yeah, there are various other things we can do. Whoa, that stuff's moving fast. Nope, not worth it. Ah, here we go with that tight spin problem again. 945. Only because I'm moving that direction anyway. Yeah, the rocks over here kind of suck. Man, these rocks suck a lot. Ooh. 
Beryllium. Only 159 kilograms, but still. I like that the, I think it's the astrogator or whoever else I hired is keeping track of these things for me. Whereas before they kept disappearing. I'm assuming that's what's doing that. Beryllium. It's, it's kind of stuck right in the side of the, uh, Hey, stop it. We're going to be in an eternal spin if you keep doing that. Makes for interesting uh, physics issues when you've got uh, the rocks actually sticking on the physical edges of the ship. We have got 69 space left. We're at 27 hours transit. Oh, that looks like a good one. Come on. More beryllium. Only 3,600. I thought 178 kilograms was going to be worth a little more. Uh, <laughs> I thought we were going to hit it. Gonna be close. Good job, autopilot. You are way better at that than I am. All right, we're at sixty-four grand estimated value. Thirty-six. Ooh, thirty-six hour transit time. Holy crap! That's a day and a half towards the next payroll I have to meet. Yeah, I remember seeing a lot of strategy discussions about uh, the MPUs, MSUs, whatever. And some people arguing for, some people arguing against. I just don't know the game well enough to weigh in on whatever side. That's our best haul yet. 62 grand. No damage to the ship yet. Slow and steady wins the race. We'll go ahead and send it to storage for now. Let's go take a look at the mineral market. Not that I really care. Look at that beryllium we've got. 1.78 units of beryllium. <laughs> yeah, we're still on the bottom of the recent trends, but I mean... Tiny bit of iron. Yeah, just sell it. All right, 139,000. Oops. Crew. Total salary is 18.9. Uh, next salary due date 10.17 and 10.27. All right. The current date's 10.2, so we've got a little bit of time. A couple more weeks. We can probably get at least a couple more runs in before that salary's going to come due. Nano drone component is currently empty. Basic nano drone storage. Storage module for disposable nano drone components capable of rapid delivery of selected parts to the drone assembly plant. Industrial nano drone storage. Military nano drone storage. Hmm. Hmm. 
Yeah, I just don't know how much other effects some of these systems would have. I think if I'm going to change anything initial. It'd be upgrading the autopilot, I think. Yeah, I just don't know what any of these numbers mean. Mining laser? I don't know. <laughs> Got me. I guess. I mean, we're doing a mass driver and a high stress hard point. Rail guns, microwave emitters. INET Kazinti Lesson Mark II. The hell, whatever that is. Can't even afford a mining laser. 150 grand. A mining microwave emitter delivers a constant one centimeter microwave beam tuned to resonate with the metals in the ice. It forms pockets of water vapor within the ice. Given time to focus, it can split even large ice formations. Sounds fun. Let's let's get one of those. So we are we currently have this installed. So what happens when I say to buy this? Does it replace the other one or does it put that in my storage? Does it sell the other one? What does it do? So we have it installed. I don't think there is, I assume it just, I either get a rebate on the earlier one, return from trade in. Oh, 20,000, is it 20,000 return from trade in and then 60,000 to buy? I'm not sure which number I'm supposed to be looking at or is return from trade in the 40,000. <laughs> Whatever. I don't really care. But you don't have a way of like holding on to previous equipment and then swapping it in and out. It's all replace. Yeah, because I have a more expensive, expensive one installed, I would get 60,000 back. Okay. So, yes. Got it. I understand. All right. Let's go with the microwave emitter. I think that'll be our one and only change. I, I want to maintain like a hundred thousand uh, slush fund to make sure we can cover payroll and all that kind of stuff. So let's just take that one out and see how the microwave emitter looks. Everything's still registering is okay. Maintenance 58 minutes, huh? So we have to pay 300 for uh, one hour <laughs> of time in the affordable capsule hotel. So it is doing repairs. I don't know if it's, we got some down to 89, 88. Yeah, fix, fix, fix. Hmm. So is my mechanic doing the repairs? However, let's head in and check out this microwave. You can get an arm thing like that. I've seen an arm thing like that attached to some ships and the arm reaches out and grabs the, the rocks and puts them in the cargo hold, things like that. I haven't run into an ammo capacity problem. I assume I'm reloading the ammo. And I know I have yeah, mass driver ammo. I haven't actually been watching that number though. I don't know if I've been going deep into my mass driver ammo capacity or what. And why am I why do I have ammo for it if I only have a microwave now? Hey now. <laughs> maintain distance do I have to hold it on target until it breaks what's what's going on here yep apparently I do I 
We have stuff. Beryllium. 6,700. Shoot that. Chase that. Nope, we want that. Go get it. Go get it. Oh, oh crap. Oh crap. Here we go. Here we go. Smash. <laughs> I have already screwed the pooch. The pooch has been screwed. Tapping too fast. Let's see. Uh, no, no. Let's let's head inward. I don't know the effective range on this microwave beam. It doesn't look like it's much farther than about here. Yeah, let's go for this one in our direction of travel. W's good stuff. 4,500. Let's go this way. <laughs> That's a tiny looking rock, whatever it is. Not giving me any info on it. Get closer. Yeah, not worth it. I got excited when we got beryllium out of the first rock, but, uh, Hasn't been much since. Stuff is more uh, more gentle <laughs> in its escape velocity. The get away from Vorm velocity, anyway. With the microwave. Ah, I didn't get it. Oh, crap. Man, that's a good one disappearing, too. <laughs> it hit the front left side of the beak, and then it hit the front right side of the beak. And then it went sailing off again. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Big rock. Big rock. <laughs> oh, man, I imparted some velocity on that thing. Slow down. Slow down. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Not good. Not good. <laughs> I knew I'd get in trouble. 
All right, what are we looking at? We're still okay on fuel and such. I'm not sure how much damage I'm doing slamming into things. Yeah, I'm imparting more velocity onto the uh, the chunks when I slam into them than the the, the microwave is doing. What do we got? Tiny little pieces. All right, big rock time. Damn it, you tiny little piece. Get back in the gullet. <laughs> Mining by smashing into things. Actually, we'll head this direction, and we'll just start shooting things and pivot until we see something we like. All right, I like that one. That went much better. Damn it. I keep flying out the front. Into the beak with you. It passed the baffle. Hey there, Nandar. I'm doing pretty good floating around in space. Space mining. And again, I lost cargo. 9,300? That can't be one I lost. Uh, ouch. All right. All right. That'll buff right out. That'll buff right out. <laughs> I want that rock, damn it. That was a big burn there. Damn it. Again. Ten grand for that one? Why does it feel like I'm just repicking up my cargo over and over again? Got a lot of stuff in the cargo hold. Yep, there it goes again. Damn it. Come on, give me this thing. There goes another five grand. I think it's because my cargo holds almost full. It's the reason I'm having this problem. What the hell? I'm gonna have to let this stupid thing go. I'm going to get moving too fast trying to capture it, and then uh, I'm going to slam into things. Yep, like that one. <laughs> Damn it. 
Uh. Come here, you. <laughs> Get in there. Stay in there. Thirty-six hour transit time. We gotta stop. We gotta head back. Not as much in the cargo hold as I was hoping. It took me too long to chase some of this stuff down. Okay. Uh, Astrogator, take us home. Oh, I think I do have damage. Just no critical damage that I have to try to jury rig solution for. Okay, 42 grand. I get this back up above my 100,000 at least. Just dump it. Uh, repairs. So, yeah, we got some stuff down into the 70s now. Now, if I hit fix, I think it comes out of my insurance. Yeah, it comes out of my insurance. So how do I fix things like with my mechanic or whatever? Or they only have effect out when you're on a ring dive. How much is this? Uh, $15 to buy. The demo is completely fully unlocked and you can play the entire game through the demo, which is completely free. And right on the front of the screen, when you load it, it'll tell you why. Um, so, you know, I think it's very much worth throwing 15 bucks at, I think it was on sale when it first hit 1.0, which wasn't too long ago, but they're still updating it regularly as well. And there's a lot more to it. I mean, there's more stuff going on. I just haven't seen it yet. So we're early, early game still, but yeah, I don't understand this part. So it's coming out of my insurance. If I say fix, um, Versus what? Replace? Uh, I, I don't know where the cost benefit is here. Uh, it said 15 when I looked at it, so <laughs> let me go look at Steam again. I mean, I looked at it right before I went live. No, nope. yep, 999. Why did it say 15 earlier? Weird. Got me. So I had the Steam page loaded up. No idea. But like I said, you can choose the demo and play it for free. How high or how much? Hmm. All right. But it still comes out of my insurance value instead of my, my repair value. I mean, do I care? Is it okay to run the insurance down to zero if I've got cash to just replace later? We'll just do that. So it only brought it up to 89%. All right. So there's going to be permanent wear and tear. We'll have to replace it eventually. That got us back above mostly 90s, right about 90. So we're okay. Let's head back in. Three days. Ouch. I can refill my insurance money. Weird. We'll try to do a little less um, ramming maneuver mining. You can actually destroy rocks with your drive plume. So <clears throat> that's a strategy. Hitting a ship with a microwave emitter can short circuit its systems. <laughs> well, that sounds fun. I've yet to see another ship. 
Okay, uh, let's just light the torch and glide on in. That looks like beryllium. 479. Holy crap. 10 grand. Yes, please. Come on. What the hell, autopilot? <laughs> Light the torch. Go get my beryllium, damn it. Oh, boy. Come on, rock. Blow up already. Damn it. Now I came to a halt chasing my beryllium just so I wouldn't smash into this. I can see the mining laser has some advantages, but it's also somewhat annoying. Oh, god damn it. All right. Now we're, we're all sorts of screwy. Now I got wrong momentum, wrong velocity. I let my beryllium escape. I didn't have the uh, cargo scoop open <laughs> when we first encountered that. I keep trying to right click to change my velocity and that just changes the angle that the ship is facing. So I keep screwing that up. I think the beryllium is too far gone now to worry about. Seventeen hundred, huh? I <laughs> keep breaking things by ramming. Ah, iron. No. <laughs> I don't want the stinky iron. And we're catching whatever it is. All right, let's try to drift in a little further. Whoops. Didn't quite let it pass the baffle. At least it's going the direction I want to travel. Going the wrong way.
Okay. Uh, oh, whoa! Whoa! What's going on over here? And... Can I talk to them? Hale? JG or SC1? Who Who is that? How do I know? I don't know how I know who that is. Does it say somewhere who that is? <laughs> SE, uh, SE1. Alright. Well met, Midnight Thrust. Any good veins nearby? Nothing so far. You're still in the shallows. Dark boss. The outer rim is practically vapor. Check the visual feed for thicker ice. You'll start seeing better results in those areas. None of your business. And I guess we'll give advice. Thanks for the tip. All right, so another miner. Cool. We saw somebody. Exciting. I'll take it, whatever it is. Down to 58, 27 hour transit time. We're starting to build up that transit time. I hate when we get stuff right on our nose. We got one stuck right there. All right. I think we're going to have a problem with stuff on the other side of the baffle. <laughs> it looks like we've got stuff sitting on the, the baffle there. So it's probably going to fly out as soon as we decelerate. Yep. Goodbye, whatever you are. Take us home. <laughs> Probably could have microwaved him. Well, why would I want to do that, though? I'm pretty sure I'd get wrecked by anybody I tried to fight right now. Not bad, 61 grand. How's our, where are we at on our crew date? 10 16, don't we have a payment due tomorrow? We do. So we've only got 18 grand. So far we're making plenty to pay our salaries. Um, we knocked a few things, but we're still in the 80s, so we're okay there. Uh, what would be another good thing to upgrade? So, kinetic ammunition. So we don't need that, right? How would I say get rid of? Yeah, I don't I don't see a way switch to seal. Oh, okay. Seals it off your ships that don't use kinetic profile. Got it. Alright, we'll do that for now. And then oops. Um thrusters, engines, fuel rods, ultra capacitors. Turbines, auxiliary power systems. Can't afford none of that stuff. Now let's invest in an autopilot. I don't have any idea what these are actually going to do. Military grade artificial neural network. 
Faster heading adjustments, less unintentional rotation. Um, exposes its internal tactical assessment to the pilot. Integrated fly-by-wire system can interpret and augment direct thruster commands. Whatever. Sounds fun. Oh, price after trade-in, 50 grand. Sure. All right. Let, let's see what happens with that. That'll be our one upgrade for this run. Where's the grabber arm? I was I haven't seen it yet. Where's it at? I want a grabber arm. But what's it under? I didn't see it under the hard point. Impact, mass drivers, beacons, emitters, cargo containers, mining companions. High stress hard point. That's where my microwave emitter is. That one there, huh? Yep, that's a grabber arm, all right. I don't think I'm going to have the money. <laughs> I guess I'll get a refund. So if we do that and we go with the manipulator. And then, oh yeah, I'm going to be poor. You have made me poor. We'll give it a try. We'll see what happens. In we go. <laughs> 